I'm Tony. I'm Rachel. Back with some more Satisfactory. You want to see the other person's view? Check the link in the description below. I am going to finish getting this uh, quartz crystal stuff built. And I am still working on that monorail track that will eventually take us to the oil. That's where I'm headed. Is it going to... Uh... Ooh, that's weird. Can I build those the same? Oh, no, no. That's totally not the same. Where is it at on this one? Right on the edge. That's where I need it. I was gonna say something. I totally interrupted <laughs> myself. Yep, I I noticed that. Or you'll get to it when you're ready. I mean, yeah, platform. Not a material again. Can't afford. Steel beams, steel beams. Ah, oh, it's on the steel. Should have uh, quite a few of those now. The steel beams? Yeah. Nah, they're not backed up yet. I gotta ah. actually. Nah, we're at 90 now. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna actually just make it by hand because I want that thing to stay uh, with resources on it. We have uh, just steel over here I can use. Just steal. <laughs> this is like a bad 90s action movie. Just steal. Or maybe a really good one. Maybe a really good one. My name is Just Steal. <laughs> that's right. Uh, that's hilarious. You thought there could be three of us, but there could only be two. Just and steal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I showed up today. With just and steel. <laughs> yeah. Like, uh, uh. What was Devil May Cry his weapons? Uh, oh no, I don't remember. I can't remember that either. It's been a long time since I played Devil May Cry. Yeah, me too. But I remember them being kind of like cool named. It wasn't Ebony and Ivory, was it? No, it was not Ebony and Ivory. No, not for certain. They weren't living in perfect harmony? No, no, they were not. No such thing as perfect harmony in that world. I don't know, when you, when you get like a 150 combo score. <laughs> I guess that's the closest thing to harmony he'll ever have for Dante. Now that's going to bother me. What were the name of his? I know one was black and one was like silvery white. I not remember the names though. I used to love that game. That was my favorite game back in the day. That was a really fun game. I never, I, I didn't play a whole lot of it, but what I did play was really fun. I played the hell out of the first one and the second one. I don't think I, the third one got weird. Never played the third one. So I, I avoided the weirdness. The third one got, um, they, that, they really went a different direction. Is that where he was like the teenager? Um, or am I misremembering? No, I think you're thinking of the one that's even newer than the third one. Okay. The third one went a little bit more... Um, I'm trying to remember even now what would, what got weird about it. I think it, I think it went more down a um, like kind of cheesy, hacky, slashy route. And there was no more like Capcom-y Resident mm. Evil solving. I yeah. think that was what happened. I cannot remember though, it's been so long. That was the weird thing, it was like a Capcom game, then they completely abandoned their own like, <laughs> system. We're trying something new. No, please don't. Yeah, it's like, please uh, we, don't. we just want more of the same. We don't, yeah. we, we really don't want you to change, like, that's the biggest thing that always gets me, it's like, you made something that everybody loves, but you know what? Let's, let's make it different. It's like, but you made something that everybody wants. Right, exactly. Everybody knows Devil May Cry. Everybody loves Devil May Cry. And if I wanted a different game, I'll go buy a different game. Exactly. But it's not even like, I'm not even talking about necessarily Devil May Cry. It's like, just massive amount of things do that. 
Like, I got an idea for this Mega Man. Let's make it to where it's a... And it's like, no, just don't. <laughs> just make another Mega Man. Because that's all I really wanted was... I, I want more stages. Mm -hmm. And uh, yep. maybe some, like, feature upgrades or something like that. But it, it, it's really, like... I liked Mega Man uh, the way he was. You don't need to we all did. Bottom. It's another Capcom game. <laughs> We're speaking directly to you, Capcom. Yeah. Listen up. I'm, uh... He's got some words for you. Yeah, I'm not actually worried about games as much as just you, Capcom. <laughs> just We're you. gonna cease and desist letter from Capcom after this episode. <laughs> Why can I not... Uh oh I don't want to die. Where are you going, truck? Invalid aim location. No, no crap. I'm trying to connect it. Oh, I guess I was doing it wrong. Oh, that'll do it. We're starting production on oscillating crystals. Ah that was a noise of excitement. Oh, that was a weird noise. It was like a weird <laughs> that was Jamaican a noise. bird that just got hit by a truck. <laughs> That was a noise of excitement and joy. No, that wasn't. That was the noise of like a frightful bird being choked a to death. A frightful bird? Yeah. Well, like the bird frightened, not the, not the, <laughs> not that it frightens other people. Well, I'm sorry that that came out as a frightened bird noise. I, uh, I did not intend for that. Oop, like spike. Whoa. Oh, I need to not do that. Got a solution for that. <laughs> Don't do it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. You are. You're welcome. Perfectly right. I keep jumping and floating a little bit, which is using fuel for my jetpack, and I need to not do that. Oh, put your legs on. You run faster with your legs and stuff. Put on your jetpack when you need it. Your leg. That's sort of. There that, we go. You should have your legs on. Put your legs on. <laughs> my legs are on. My legs are officially on. Okay. No, really. Put your legs on. Can't leave the house without your legs on. Uh, all right. I think we're doing a little bit better over here now. So those are being produced. There. Let's see how the reinforce is looking. Okay, that just that just pulled all of the reinforced off. Need to go to the so this is like slightly in the positive. Just not slightly enough. I want it to be like a lot in the positive. Which thing? The uh, steel beams, but you, hmm. as soon as these get capped out, I'm going to throw this on here just to try to help cap that. Once the uh, reinforced uh, or the encased industrial beams, once those get capped out, it'll start building back up again. Okay. So I'm just kind of, I might actually manually make some of those. Uh, never mind. <laughs> Oh no, I can I can make the steel beams. Oh man, it is expensive to make. It's four of those steel beams and five concrete. So it would take a whole lot of the steel to be able to make those. Mm. Computers are doing well. Awesome. Yeah, actually, like, they're, they're, like, right on, everything's capped out, so actually I could improve production on those. Awesome. That's good, because that is uh, going to be what gets us to Tier 7. And then uh, I'm, the crystal oscillators I'm just getting done now. I'm, I want to get a build up, because once we need them, I know we're going to need, like, a thousand of the damn things. Probably, yep.
motors were like really full on. We're about a quarter of the way on the computers. 221, so we need 779. 779. At 253 right now, and they are actually going at a pretty good pace. Just three per every 2.8. It's 2.8 per minute. Does that include the multiple of three, or does that mean it completes every? See what I mean? Say that one more time. It says it's 2.8 per minute. So okay. is that like per? No, that's gotta be per production because the other one's 1.87 per minute. So it's got to be three of them every 2.8 seconds, every uh, 2.8 minutes. Hmm. Or no. That's how, I, that's how I would read that. No, it's 2.8 times three, or yeah, 2.8 times three per minute. That's how I think that that's done. Okay. That's a bit weird. So it's six plus point eight. So that's a little over two thirds. So it's about eight per minute. Okay, that's really good. Yeah, it's actually like it is truly out that we're not starved on resources in place with it. Um, some crystal oscillators, the computers. I don't. I think we're missing anything in the production line at all now. I think everything's on production that we can make. Yeah, um, as far as I'm aware. The only thing I can really do is improve. Let's see, the copper line can stand to be improved still. That would help with some um, chips. And the steel line for the re for the um, the steel beams. I think those are the two primary spots. Copper seems like it'd be not too awful bad effects. Just gotta figure out how to get a. I bet I could scoot these and get just a second one right next to it. Yeah, I bet I could do that. I'm gonna do that. Oh man, I can't delete that. That's gonna just fill my inventory <laughs> full of copper. Yeah, I get 2,400 copper out of that. Oh wow, a lot of copper. Yeah. Um, here, I'm gonna stop you for a moment. <laughs> I try to use up some of that copper so I can. What I'm gonna do is. Uh, Take the container and scoot it back. Okay. And then I should have room for another one of these. And then what can happen is I can have... Uh, delete this one as well. And then kind of put two of them straight line. Okay. And then I'll merge the... Like, I'll, I'll kind of like zigzag them, the lines around them. Because the other option is I gotta take the steel line and like completely redo it. Oh, yeah, we don't want to do that. What is that? That is... Oh, that's that, that's that, um, that, yeah, that's not being used anymore, is it? Or is it still being used? Maybe it is still being used. On my fingers are just not want to go on WSD. Why is this not getting more? Oh, did I pull all of the ore out of this thing? Wow, seriously. Okay. Um, wow, I did not expect that to be happening. 
It's a Mark II. That thing was full. That's a Mark II. I pulled all of the um, Baron Ore out of the the thing that was over here. I didn't I didn't realize I could do that. Huh? Uh, didn't I have? There's like another iron note or two around here. Where was it? There's the two on top that I can run over this. I do that. Yeah, no, we're not using those for anything. Those two up there? Mm hmm. Yeah. I thought there was one like up this way. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Oh, I'm wrong. Think you're wrong? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm wrong with that. I'm mistaken. Now they know these towers are so stupid cheap to make too, I'm gonna start using that more. <laughs> yeah, I don't see any iron around here. This thing works, I'm gonna take damage. I didn't take damage. Ladders are one of those things that like very few games get them right. I think uh, Seven Days to Die does ladders correctly. Yeah, it's very straightforward. You go up, you go down. Well, it's one of the things where like, if you're holding W to get onto it, it's, it's always about going down that seems to be the issue. Mm -hmm. It's about how uh, W and S works on the ladder. And it's, um, so there's either the option of the direction you look that you go or the W and the S. But the problem with the W and the S going up and down is when you, if you need to hit S to go down and you need to hit W to get on it, and as soon as you get off, you just walk right off of it. Yeah. Or as soon as you get on, you walk right off it. And then that's a bit of an issue. Resources. So I'm just gonna run that over there. Um, like some pure ones as well um there are they're just better production right or something i think so yeah get more resources for them production mark two need need stuff Based off of that, I should be good. How's the how's the train coming? It's coming. It's so windy. It's it's so windy. But There's gotta be something that makes it to where it can be straight. Uh, I wish there was. Cause it's like snaky, and there's like nothing I can do to get it to actually be straight. It's silly. I'll have to look it up and have see you, if there's a way to... Have you tried just to like mess around with the keys, see if you can figure out a way to straighten it out? I have tried. It seems like if you start it going straight, you can get it to be relatively straight, but this pathway has so many windies. There we go. Now that I'm in a straightaway, I can get it to be more straight. But to the last leg of things where it's uh, based on a diagonal pattern, it's going to be more... <laughs> you know what I mean? By the oil. Adam, Josh? Yes. That last leg. Alex? Not, 
Not the last leg of the thing I'm working on, because that would just be silly. I know. I know. The tractors are in sync. They're both going the same way. Like the 90s man? Yeah. <laughs> You're saying real weird I guess stuff so. Right now. I guess so. So many pop culture references. I don't know. I didn't know even if, know I was making. I don't know if uh, Last Leg is a pop culture reference. It probably might be if you're British. But that's not at all where I intended that to go. Let's, let's try that again. Where do I want to put this? I think I'll just shoot it straight over that way. We want to wind it out. Actually, this is a better angle. Oh, that's right, I need to build smelters. I have officially run out of steel beams. Hmm? I have run out of steel beams. I'm gonna go back and make some more. Uh, you're gonna have to hand make them. Yep, that's what I'm gonna do. So we're actually having issues on um, quite a few different things right now. Okay. I'm gonna make some. It is definitely one of those issues to where like, as soon as I solve one problem, another one shows up. <laughs> Endless optimization. Our thing's going back base, over here. I think you just said it, endless optimization. <laughs> okay. Or wait, no, I don't want to alter because, yep, whoops. That's right, because that uses raw iron. I just want the iron, or the iron ore to go on. It looks like a nice carnival ride. Hmm? Some big roller coaster because of all the lights and stuff. Oh, the colors. <laughs> yeah. Try to make it um, happy. It's a happy base. It's very happy. It's, happy it's bri base. very bright and colorful and lights and. Yeah. Do it this way. It's looking good. You need to put a storage box up this way for it. Yeah, it'll just run right in that top line. Uh, let's see. Power first. Got the power. No, oh, I need the power. <laughs> <laughs> we have those new lines that can put ten nodes in. Actually, I might need to put one right there because that's capped out. Um, I don't know what it takes. Yep. Oh, we got seven node ones too. Oh, interesting. Notice that one. Didn't notice that one. Oh. I use. I can't tell what that says. Is that quickware? That one uses a computer chip. High speed connector. Oh, those aren't too bad to make. <clears throat> that uses quickwire. Oh, I'll just. I really don't mind putting the like basic ones because I can. Like they're not horribly bad to have more splits. 
Yeah, as long as it's you have enough connections as much as you need. Well, I don't, but like throwing another one right next to it isn't that big of a uh -oh. deal. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Smelters are getting it here. Awesome. That helps that. I feel like I'm going to fill these up. I am, so I do need to put a box in between them. <laughs> hit my head on the thing. Thought I was <laughs> short enough to go through. Guess not. Don't do what I did. Don't get stuck. Oh, I didn't. That's alright. <laughs> <laughs> Monorail is coming along. Is it? It is. It is indeed coming along. There is progress. <laughs> Look what I made. I made a floating box. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of cool. You had platforms underneath it and then removed them? Yep. <laughs> okay, well, that works. It's got a weird, like, front two legs that stick down. It's kind of strange. I don't know why it's got that. Should fill those up. I should get more plates going. Which thing's gonna break next? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's basically been the, the game I've been playing is oh that's not working. Oh crap, that's not enough of that anymore. <laughs> the steel is gonna have an issue real soon if I didn't get that uh the, the line amount coming in better. Still might, actually. That's the screws. What's that? The steel productions depend on this ore coming in. Yep. The ore not coming in well enough. I think it's matching now. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's just matching. Which is not necessarily, I, I prefer for that to be backing up. So I might increase the throughput on one of these. I 
like screws for that one. This is starting to cap out on screws, actually. Um, again, it's the product, like it's the speed of the line that's the issue. That's capped out. Ooh, what's what's the choke on this one then? Ooh, modular frames because the reinforced not going through because the steel plates. Should be going a little bit better now. Yeah, we're starting to get plates. Whew. Almost went off the edge there. Sorry. Don't do that. Yep. Yep. That's not advised. Not suggest. Would not suggest. Not usually a winning strategy. Those are producing again. So part of the problem with that was the uh, the container that had all the ore back here went dry. So what it was doing is it was just feeding into the steel line, which I'm glad it was doing that. Yeah. But it was just feel feeding into the steel line, and that meant that the ones that I had in the alternate plate lines were not being fed. Okay. And uh, those ended up making it to where all the plates went dry, so it was behind on building plates. How did that dry up? It just yeah. went through them. Oh, it just when went I down. added the plate line on it, it just added that much more. Like, it, the throughput wasn't high enough. I but see. But now I've got these two uh, moving iron over to that side. So it should be fine. Let's see, do I have some ore someplace that I can steal? any ore here going into any containers. That one is, and I can steal some of that. There we go. There we go. That can be put on over here and that'll help at least give it a buffer sustainable buffer well it's sustainable right now but it's like a one-to-one -one sustainable so okay. it's not building up anything I see so that'll give it the bump it needs to yeah this is quite a bit here it's just enough so that it will have more sort of thing okay so if at any point it drops by like 0 0.001 or something like that it's actually still gonna sustain Now, so that line should be backing up now as well, which means I could pull some off of this. Because these two are not taking enough. Do I have a second line in on this one? But I think I'd have to merge it. Yeah, I'd have to merge it. That's fine. Um, I can merge. I'm one short. Ah. Yep. And there's 
just not going to be any in here. That was going to be... Here, I'll take that. That'll get me there, at least. Those are building up, but it's like the slowest build up. It's like <laughs> one every five minutes. All right, I have exciting news. The line is complete. Okay. I will build us a car, and then you can try it out. Can you, can you make mine look like a little horsey? No, I can make yours look like a railroad <laughs> car. A, a train, if you will. I won't. Okay, well. Whether you will or no, it won't. There's going to be a monorail train. Just picking up my platforms. Just one of the horsey. Well, the Explorer kind of looks like a horsey. You can use <laughs> your imagination. I don't you understand what a horsey looks like. You can use your imagination. It's got four wheels and kind of oh, got a thin one. frame. Man, I, I just cannot manage to get on the stupid thing from down there, from up there. I built a lookout tower up here. Yeah. Just to be able to look back. I don't. You probably won't need to use it nearly as much as I do, but it's. Okay. It's good to have at least. Yeah. Okay, that's not quite clear yet. Let's see. I'm gonna build. Actually, let's do this. I'm gonna get the first one built. Mark twos. I can use some cheap cheapies with this one. Cheapies. Actually, I might not be able to. I might actually have to. Means I'm going to split this. So I will use a faster line. Am I gonna be able to do this? Ooh, I'm not sure this is gonna actually work. There's <laughs> almost not enough room in my inventory. <laughs> Time to clear out. No, I, I, it's because I got all that copper off that line. Ah. Maybe it will work. A little messy. Um, depends on whether I can get this to go into that. Um, get this to go. Can't afford. spot. Um, put these back in here. Put this back 
Alright. Making a locomotive. Then I gotta hook up the power. How expensive is that? The locomotive? Yeah. Um, it uses five heavy modular, five computers. That's the most expensive pieces. Those are expensive, but I guess not horrible. Yeah. where I need to. Sound stumped. Well, I, I'm just not sure this is gonna work. Got another idea on how to make it possibly maybe work. Invalid shape. <laughs> Tell me it's an invalid shape. That looks like a valid shape to me. Ooh. We are getting towards the upper limit of our power, it looks like. Are we? Yeah, actually. Oh, I put another monster on the, the line. That's why. Yeah. I'll put another thing out there next time. Okay. We've got a, got a train to take you out there now, hopefully. Um, that might also be consuming crap tons of power. That's what I just checked. Approaching clearance. I can't get this to work like this. You have an alternate way of doing it? Not yet. Um, yeah, actually, I do. This is going to go away. We just lost power. Okay, let me disconnect the station then. Until we can get that situated. Connected. You gotta restart the line though. Restart the line. Yeah, the power's off. You gotta turn it back on. How do I do? Did you already turn it? Did you pull the switch? Oh, it's back on. You pulled the switch, right? I just disconnected the power line from the train station. That's all that I did. You have to go to a node. Um, power's back on. I don't know why it's back on, but it is. Okay. Normally you have to go to the node and actually pull the, oh. yeah, the on off. Yeah, pull that on. There you go. There we go. Okay. That was weird. It wasn't showing up in the other node. There we go. Should be good now. This on something. 
there anything I can help with over there? I'm at a pretty good stopping point. Um, maybe. Go ahead and head over this way. I mean, just like shoot you in direction sort of thing. I'm over by the copper line. Okay, I'm at the copper line right now. Oh, you went on top. Um, yep, one second. I'll just kind of holler for you as I need you sort of thing. Holler. Okay. <laughs> right. This should give me enough room to split them apart so they're not so come together. Okay. Need room to be able to run that line in both ways. Here, like... Here, that should be better. This needs to run to that one. Will that not do that? Encroaching on others' clearance. What the heck's encroaching on? It's going through that one. This needs to go here, there, there we go. That'll go out to there, and then, um, let's see, I need power to this. Can you figure out where the hell the power nodes? I can. Oh, here we go. Here it is. I need to put another one over here, though. Let's see if I can. It's right there, but it's... I, have, uh, I can go grab a couple supplies, so if you want... Here, I can, I can put another node over here. Um, to the right. There we go. Now I can see it easier. You got the cable on you? Yeah. You got me I've got so much stuff on me. Yeah, I'm <laughs> <Okay>. good. <laughs> it's like, that piece I can help with. Oh, there's wire on that one. Now I need to get this one producing. Ah, I put that maybe in the worst place. That's right where that other line's gonna come in through. But again. The power line? Oh, okay, I see. Right, I don't want it. It's encroaching from that? What the hell? Oh, right, there's another the node. Approaching on others' clearance. Can I run it from back here? It's the top thing. Oh. That's weird. I could run it right through like a machine, but I can't put it. There it goes. Yeah. <laughs> Took a little bit of snaggling, but it worked. Build a thing back. <laughs> <laughs> Order of operations matters for some reason in this. Yeah, I guess so. And okay, now I need to be able to split. And this is going to be the question. Hey, it is able to go in. Perfect. And then this is not the cleanest thing in this. Uh... <laughs> but does it work? Yeah, it's not always like this can cause other issues with. There we go. And that's gonna get routed in the copper line. That's gonna oh, the wire. The actually. wire wire line, sorry. There go, there's more wire. Hold on there. Oh look oh. at it now. It's a thing of beauty. What all that? All that That's wire. because I just threw it on there. Oh. That it it wouldn't <laughs> be producing at that. Rate. Okay. I was about to I, I got really excited. No, I had some on me and I threw it in there. I see. So that's... So essentially the front one's running at three worms, three slugs. Okay. And the back one's just running as normal, and the purpose of the back one is to fill in between... Sure. ...the spots. That makes sense. So now you can see... Okay, 
Now you'll actually start seeing the normal production. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. So the purpose of the back one is to try to make this line. Here, wait till it, um. Yeah, okay, it's empty. Now, if you look at the line up here, you should start seeing a better idea of what it looks like. Okay. So it'll be one machine more dense, which is. This is increasing it by 45 more per minute. Okay. Well, that's good. But this one's at 112.5 per minute. Mm -hmm. So I'm adding another 45 to that. Awesome. And then I need to actually. Um, color got removed it was that one coppery green paint these things either oh you can't oh hey paint those but not the cars <laughs> and then there we go that's the wire line okay okay well progress that was interesting kind of like we we so if you look over this way, okay, coming. I'm gonna put my little shocker back in my inventory. Uh, uh, let's see, what's something that? Here. This thing doesn't take up a ton of my screen. So we have two Mark Twos up here. Okay. And those just go together into here. All right. And then this goes across here. Oop, I did not follow your your lead. Okay, I see you though. I'm with you. So this splits. One line goes back into that inventory over there. Okay. And one line goes up to the top inventory here. All right. The top inventory is two smelters. Ooh, I need to put more through this one actually. I wish I could. Wait, don't we have the selective splitters now? I might need yeah. to put that there. Because um, I need to basically do a two to ones, or I basically need to, when this is backed up, go, oh, that's all I need to do. Um, yeah, I need to say when this one's backed up, mm -hmm. then I'll put to this one. But until this one's backed up, don't, don't do that. Okay. So this one's now, see how it's building? Yeah, yeah. So it just need a little bit of a, a push to be able to start building. I am going to actually disconnect that for a moment. So what I need to do is get that. Yeah, how, do, how do we? I haven't used the selectors yet. Programmable splitter. Yeah. Um, set rules for each output. Okay. So I wonder if that could say when this is full, then the other one. And then there's smart splitters. Set a rule for which part should go left and which part should go right. Okay. So that's like a that's that actually splits the item. They use a weird thing. What is that? What is that? Oh, an AI limiter. Oh, I guess I haven't made one of those yet. And then this uses... Oh. It's not that bad to make. It's two computers, two AI limiters, three of those. Okay. I might need to make one of those. Um, right now I can leave this the way it is and deal with that next time. Because this is actually built up now, which means the steel is not going to have issues. Yep. Uh, there is a situation with the power, so we'll have to figure that out next time, too. Oh, yeah, that's actually probably the first thing I'll do next time. But this is actually... Yeah, that's going to start be fine now. And then on the power side, I can go build for, uh, some more things over at the oil area. That would probably be good. And then that will power our uh, train, as well as the other things. Doing fine. It's just a production speed issue. Oh, this one. Those don't have any worms on them. You can have have all the worms been used up. I'm pretty sure. Okay. Yeah, I don't see any here. I got the copper line with three worms on it, but it's still using it about as fast as it can. Those copper lines are going into make the chips. I think that's the main area they're being used at. Okay. Can't remember if they're being used in... Oh, they're being... For the staters. That's right. So they're coming out here into the staters. And they're coming out here into the computer mm -hmm. uh, parts down there. They're uh, 
Are there a place that's being used? I don't think so. I don't see anything else that's using them. Come on. Jump. Can I have my <laughs> legs on? You got your legs on. I'm just not, I'm not jumping so good right now. Yeah, I don't see them being used anyplace else. So those are the two places where that's being used. And the computer parts, honestly, don't need to be overly fed. The stators are, like, fine. As soon as they fill up the rest of the way, because the motors are full, mm -hmm. they'll, they just won't even be using that anymore. And then I could take off probably some of the copper line stuff. Okay. The computers are doing good. I just checked in on those. Got a whole stack of them. Whole stack of computers? A whole stack of them. Yeah, so see, this has actually been going down slowly. Mm hmm. I see that. Oh, yeah. We've got 100, 200, 350, 74. Might as well turn some of these on. Yeah. I wanted you to be able to see them first before I took anything One, two, on. three. Yeah, throw 300 on there. Good chunk. And then the, uh, the frames are still a bit light. That's the reinforced, is the problem with those. Yep. Well, I think what I might do next time is go out and see if I have any crash lights I haven't activated yet from back like forever ago. Yeah, that would be good to try to get more of those. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so here's the frames. Those are on, I think, light blue. Yeah. Light yep, blue. it's the reinforced iron plates. And then that's not being produced fast enough because... That's what I'm looking at right now. Iron plates are actually the things that are going slow. Hmm. I've been okay. throwing iron plates on them every once in a while as I go by. <laughs> and the iron plates are coming from... There's two there, and then two up here. Well, what the heck's the hold up? Well, that was getting starved out a little bit. Okay. So it's doing slightly better. None of them have any uh, worms on them or anything. Okay. They should all be... Yes, there's two there. It should be four... It's whatever this is times four. Um, Fifteen times four. So it's sixty. Okay. So that's saying sixty per minute. And then what's this actually use? Uh, 50 per minute, and then this one's 50 per minute as well. Oh, uh, so we are definitely underproducing those. Yep. Okay, well, um, next time, hard drives and slugs, I think, for me. Luckily enough, the screws aren't actually the problem on here now. <laughs> Yay! We move from one problem to another. It's, well, it's gonna be that way, unless I manage to sync them up nicely. Right. Um,. The, the whole the whole thing <laughs> Do you see the copper wire <laughs> yeah it like oh what the it's like a i know it's like jacked up that's what i'm saying something's it's doing a weird thing on the rendering <laughs> that clay blocks yeah <laughs> all right well that's a um that's a progress uh train working but no power train should be working didn't have a chance to test because no power but and but, I can't drive it anyway, but... But it's essentially complete. Just it's, needs... Yes, it is complete. And you can't drive it? I couldn't before. Like, I, I didn't try this one because no power, but... Yeah. Um, before, when we had one, I could not drive it. I just got in and it wouldn't do anything. But the train is there. The track is built. And it's ready to go. Door direct central. Yep. With two A's. Central. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so it is, it is a bit windy, but it should go. So we'll find Can out. Can I stand next on time. this thing now? I I did all the way back. Nope. Look. No. I can stand on this, but I cannot stand on that. Yeah. Weird. So that's it. It connects up to the platform up there past the waterfall. And then it follows the path back. Okay. And then you saw how where it went down by the hole. So. By the coal. <laughs> um, and there's a few split off points as well for easy exits. 
I dumped a bunch of uh, my concrete back on there because I ended up pulling all those platforms and so I put some more on there. Yeah, probably didn't end up using all that much concrete. No, land. not at all. It's mostly a building thing. Yep. All right, awesome. I think we're in a pretty good spot as far as that goes. All right. Okay. I should, I should don't, the sun. don't stare at the sun. What's wrong with you? I didn't. I shot it. He was trying to <laughs> look. Trying to hurt me. Yes. It, it does a weird thing. Look. Is it? Oh no! It does that all the time. I thought it. You're it looks using like your it, bolts. Uh, that's all right. I've got wasted 94. resources. I'm, I'm, I'm doing all right. <laughs> all right. All right. You ready to call it for this one? I think so. We've. Um, oh, actually, I do want to see one thing. Okay. What does this look like? Oh, Ooh. I never finished it. Uh oh. <laughs> I wonder how long that... Well... Has it been producing? I don't know if it capped out or not. I'll be able to tell as soon as it uh, dumps all the inventory out whether it's got 100 on it or not. 1.875 per minute. Yeah, it's not fast. It's not. That's why I wanted to get it started now so that later when we need it, it's actually got some buildup. Yeah. So gorgeous. Very pink. Yep. Okay. It capped out. Ouch. Whoops, I can't believe I didn't complete that. I'm glad you checked it. Yep. All because right. that would have sat for a very long time uncompleted if I didn't just check that. Yes. All right, well, I think I'm, I'm good to go. Here, I do want to do one last thing real quick. What are you going to do? I'm going to look at it from the back side. Okay. I think we'll get some more things for painting. I've only got nine left. We should have a ton, if I remember correctly. They don't weigh that much. <laughs> we have a lot of them. It's so pretty. Look at it. It's very interesting looking. It is. The production line is beautiful. So there's like in the, like, this is the basic feed in system. And we have a steel system. And we have another basic feed in because that didn't do enough. Whoops. <laughs> um, yeah, there's the trunk line. There's all the build items, and then we have some things coming from that way, from that way. It mostly went the way I, I, I wanted it to go. Yeah, I think it's a, it's well designed. You can see the... Yeah, you can see the track going out. <laughs> we'll have to try it next time. I can't wait to ride it. Yeah, we need to go out and uh, throw a few more um, oil plants out, which our... Yeah, we have the thermal generators now. Yeah. Um, those are 200 megawatt. Um, the fuel generators are 150. The only thing that sucks about those is they're five computers and 10 reinforced frames. Mm, but yeah. they do give us 150 apiece. That's nice. So it's just a matter of um, getting a few more of those made. Right. So let's make three more of those probably pretty. Uh, I'm, I might, so we've got that one row of them right now. Mm -hmm. I might create two row next to it and just split another set off from that oil so that we don't starve out the, the fuel that's going on the other line. Okay. Yeah, that's probably good because we have that one node that's just sitting there right now, not doing a whole lot. Well, no, no, no. We're, we're still going to use the same node because that's more than fine. Okay. But when it splits off and it goes into the, um, uh, whatever it's called, the maker thing. Oh, yeah. When it goes into that, it turns it into fuel and then puts it in a line. Mm -hmm. So I've got a line of them right now. I'm having fuel go into. What I'm going to do is create a second line. I so see. So that it doesn't... Eventually, that thing is going to hit capacity to where the fuel's production is not going to meet the, the demand. Right. So I'm just going to create a second line with a, another fuel line. Okay. And then that can... Let's see. I think it's two, four, six, eight. I think, it's, I, think I currently have seven on the current line. Mm -hmm. I think... If, That'll put at least eight on that one, and then I can put eight more on the other one, so that'd be uh, 800 plus 400 would be 1,200 more. Oh, wow. Or 12,000 more. That's a lot. So it's a, or no, 150 times eight. So that'd be 800 plus 400, which would be 1,200. 1,200, so yeah. it doubles our power capacity, essentially. Yes, plus another 150 on top of it, because I don't actually have the eighth one on the other side. Mm. So um, we'll be able to get a ton of power. It just costs quite a bit to be able to get that from the um, reinforcing the computers and stuff. Right. All right. We will pick that up again. Um, I don't know if we'll do that next time, but actually I know I'm going to have to start with the power next time. So probably, that's probably where yeah. I'm going to be next time. 
All right. We'll see, see you by then. Bye. Bye.